back to the video. So we are back with Eric. It has been a while and his car is looking very different again. So dude, take us through what have you changed on from last time. What was your fastest pass last year? Last year, we started breaking into the tens. We did like 1089 or something up at PIR. And then after that, we were getting it dialed in more and more. Um, Pacific Wirelands, we did a 1066 at 134. And then first time out this year that we actually got passes out of the car, we were right back into the tens, which is good. We're running a bit more power now, but not all the power so yeah but made some nice changes to it over the winter time got the parachute on there so you have a full parachute now so you had to reconfigure the whole back of the cage did you just add yeah. all this no so i cut out the whole back half of the cage okay and redid it all um it's in chromoly too the same weight steel before well, so chromoly is like almost half the weight nice it's crazy so how much how many pounds did you lose did you weigh it it weighs i lost an overall like 40 pounds give or take just from cage well it would have been a lot more but also added a whole subframe for the fuel cell back here because okay. we were on a stock tank and so this is all the firewall for it and then got the nice little oh, nice. access port there that's all for the fuel pump there the big old 75 amp relay with his own little fuse box and stuff dude the wire wired the whole car. yeah it's looking so good it's got the kill switch back here now too but to peek under here you can see the fuel cell got two aem 400 fuel pumps bosch 2100 cc injectors so we got we got plenty of fuel that was a big limitation last year was the fueling of the car because we were just maxing it out super bad yeah um but the inside of the car is now painted the same color that's just the car now so the window net in there i got it in two shots the first custom one i bought i measured wrong but i had a good template on how to actually measure i'm a real visual learner the first one i got was right down here but it went like up at an angle all the way up here and so then i knew on the second one how to do the measurement so got that now which gotcha. is cool um still the same shifter i rewired the entire chassis i had already wired it one time because get rid of all the factory stuff yeah. and i didn't like how i did it i've learned a lot building this car that's one thing i learned so i got rid of the arc 8000 switch panel and relay box and just made my own complete relay panel using um this quick car dude that looks so good yeah and it's so much nicer for so many different reasons um it's got turn signals now which is sick it's got lights throughout shoot releases right there all built right to where i need and want everything so when i'm strapped in the car i feel real comfortable with where everything's at everything's fixed you know so nothing moves. nice and solid now. but yeah and so over here before i had all the wiring over here is all ugly and stuff and there was holes in the firewall or it was all routed through the fender which i didn't really like one thing i'm kind of upset about is this is still street car right? i went through all the trouble putting turn signals in it i'm the weight's way heavier because of how i have everything set up right but the thing that really bums me out is i can't have a glove box anymore <laughs> because of all the wiring oh my gosh but dude look how clean that wiring looks though i built all of it myself um just started out with a sheet of aluminum and started just mapping it all out and got it all kind of worked out the way i was hoping for so just put these tires on last weekend the tires are a bit bigger than my last a one bit. they look massive compared to what the last video has shown oh these and they've only had 23s yeah, yeah. Dude, these are so much better yeah but last weekend i test fit them and i'm like shoot they're rubbing on flares so i was right down over there with my little milwaukee die grinder just grinding the flares out I, the first run it shook and it was so violent that it came up hit the flare there kind of self-clearanced it some more that is what it is but these are some kaiser racing wheels i picked up uh from a guy local in portland they're four by 100 13 by nine and fit pretty pretty good especially they're only 500 bucks the engine itself uh pretty much the head's the same still 268 cams i did super tech valves valve springs and titanium retainers 
Uh, turbo is the same size, but it's a billet wheel version. So upgrade from the $300 turbo to a $500 turbo, you know, really stepping my game up here. Uh, Bosch 2100 CC injectors from BS Racing. Same people make the turbo. Great guys, I love all their stuff. BS Racing wastegate. We got this fancy turbo manifold here, all tubular, so I can run EGTs. And honestly, I'm not impressed with it. Really? It is kind of, it's it's disappointing to say the least. The car lost a bunch of mid-range power. The, the $40 eBay manifold performed way better. We got it figured out now. We had to kind of do some weird stuff with the tuning and stuff, but we got it sorted out now for the most part, but it was like, it just, it, lost a whole bunch of mid-range and we we're like what the heck but yeah we dynoed it up at aaron's house and made 719 wheel horsepower and like 568 foot pounds of torque spinning on the dyno. Aaron was gluing it down, but you can watch slow-mo in the video my wife made. You can see smoke coming off the tires. Holy crap. Fuel consumption showed more like 790-800, which we're selling stock rods. So that's that's the limited factor, but you know, it is what it is. Um, forge pistons now though. So that's cool. They're like, it's like 11 to one or 10 and a half to one compression still. On E85, transmission still a four speed dog box, uh, Clutchmaster twin disc. Yeah. Well, so, your catch can is a lot different than last time, too. Yeah, I didn't How like that one. I just thought this one, motion race works. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like it a lot more. But, clean up all the wiring over here, everything is like actual like flange connectors and all sealed off now. Those look so good. Yeah. Put the boost controller up here. But you gotta yeah. go up. Yeah, I gotta go make a. Right. I gotta go make another rip to your ship. Yeah. made the qualifying pass for the license though nice. but just hopefully it hangs on for one more rip and i'm ordering a new clutch tonight nice so if anyone wants to you know have their face on the side of the car picture their butthole maybe i don't really care but give me a clutch we're, we're looking for sponsorship for eric he definitely turned it down fourth he told me he turned it down in fourth and that pass in the car and forth, I could keep, it's just go, <laughs> it's like, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I was like, I hope. I'm driving back too and everyone's like, oh yeah, I'm like, I know. It probably was a 10 at least, and that should be at least 135. Yeah. So hopefully. It's right here in fourth, right? It goes from 6,100. Oh, you, you can see it real good now. Yeah. So right there, these crazy RPM flares. That's a clutch level. And then right there, the grain, that's the vehicle speed sensor. So this is all just shaking. Yeah. Like earlier in the run, it wasn't that bad. Like it was, it was a little bit, like a little bit right there. First gear, a little bit. Third gear was all right. But then in fourth gear, I was like, holy crap. But luckily like Matt is fucking awesome. And He's sending me tunes, he's like, this should like band-aid it together <laughs> enough to keep it going. That's why doing my license pass today too, I'm like, okay, I know that I'll be able to get at least like almost all of them done as long as they yeah. are. 
pulled together. But yeah, so like out of fourth, we were only running 20 pounds, yeah. 20 and a half. Third. And on kill mode, what, what are you going to have it at? Oh, uh, like full kill mode? Yeah, like nines. Like nines? Yeah. Uh, it shouldn't take a whole lot more to really go nines. Um, like the 1035 pass, if it was a 60 footed well, the eighth probably would have been closer to a 670 instead of a 680. Mm -hmm. And the quarter probably would have been a 10 2 something at least. Um, maybe a low 210. Um, or a 10 2, sorry, not 2 10, a 10 2. And so, like, all we really have to do at that point, right, if we can get the car to the 60 foot short track well, then we can turn it up. The car's, well, the car should handle whatever power in third and fourth, but right now it's not, obviously, because <laughs> it's slipping. But yeah, so that's been the whole a big thing with the car, like, when. You were down here and we did the 11 2, right? I yeah. maxed out a three bar map sensor, wondered why there's no more boost showing up because we maxed out the map sensor, melted two pistons, you know, and it's just like, okay. And that was cool and everything, and then Matt started tuning the car and then kind of started more at baseline, but after he started tuning the car, I think like. 14 pounds of boost, maybe 15 pounds of boost. We were doing 11 threes Jeez, like nothing man. consistently. And so now, but like we made 719 wheel horsepower on the dyno at 30 pounds of boost. We're only running it out 20 pounds of boost right now. And that's what I think it may have been 21 on the 1035 pass. Um, but I forget how we figured, I want to say very very rough calculations it was like 15 horsepower for every pound of boost we were getting Jeez. it seemed like um so i mean and that, that's another 150 horsepower we have to play with on just the big end and then on the short track too because we're only leaving the line we only left on seven pounds that time Gosh. then first gear running it out only almost 15 pounds of boost second gear we hit 18.7, but then it tapered off to 15.9. And so once we can get 60 foot and short track really well, cause then if we start putting, you know, more boost to it, you know, 20 plus pounds of boost to the lower gears and then cranking it up higher. Yeah. That's how we're gonna go a lot faster, but it's all in the short track, right? Like we could easily run nines right now if we just gave it 30 pounds of boost at third and forward. Yeah. But there's no point in it if our short track isn't good because then we're gonna be really limited on how fast we can actually go, right? Yeah. If we're using all the power just to run the high nine. There's no real point in that, you know, unless you want to just live at that area of running like high nines all the time which is still fast you know but there's just a lot of potential left on the table so it's pretty much he's getting his license today all yep. he got them all yep. so it's pretty much today Pull that gonna, out. gonna switch the clutch for next event and today is to be continued pretty much